As we commence the final week of April, we would like to take the time to remind you that April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. In the U.S. alone, at least 100,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's each year, and one out of 20 are under 40 years old. Well, the good people over at Eisenhower Health, Songshine Parkinson's, ACV Parkinson's Support Group, and Rock Steady Boxing are all joining forces to bring us a wellness expo promoting awareness and education on Parkinson's this Friday, and you're invited. With us today is Ruthanna Metzger and Dee Waringa here to tell us about an incredible wellness expo for Parkinson's Awareness Month. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you, Jennifer. Great Lovely. to be here. Yes. Thank you for having us. Lovely to have you. And for such an important cause, tell me a little bit about the expo, what it's all about, uh, you know, who's it for? Well, uh, we did this last year, but this year we've just grown a little bit bigger. And firstly, we're just so excited and to have the amazing Dr. Leg as our guest speaker. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is really something. Yes, he's, he happens to be my neurologist because al <laughs> along with being the founder of Songshine, now I've inherited Parkinson's along with all the patients. And you seem to be handling it swimmingly. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at this point, uh, the exciting thing for me is that we're featuring uh, some new groups. Mm -hmm. One, uh, two different ones from Eisenhower. Mm -hmm. One is Speak Out. Speak Out, speech and therapy program. And, and PD in Motion, mm -hmm. which, which is, is the great. exercise group. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the um, support groups, which is really important. So and, important. And the thing that's good about these support groups, I've seen uh, and heard about other support groups where they put both the patient mm -hmm. and the caregiver together. These are separate, and so they can oh. really say what's on their hearts, and yeah. then it makes it more healthy. I was going to ask, why do you feel that's important to separate the two? So we have two groups with our, um, our Parkinson's support group, mm -hmm. and one is the care partner group, and the other is the person diagnosed with Parkinson's. And we're speaking very different topics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, I actually oversee the group for the people diagnosed, and okay. they like to talk about what their daily is, their right. medications, how it, it's affecting them. Um, themselves. Okay. The care partners need to be able to express themselves amongst each other. There's things like when driving stops, they've got to be available all the time, apart from all the in-home care and everything else they're doing hands-on. So it really makes sense to have two separate groups, each being able to voice their own Oh, that's uh, fantastic right. to meet the Opinions. needs of the individuals. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's exactly. And then the, another group that yep. is just phenomenal is Rocksteady Boxing. Oh, now, yes. Yeah, there you go. Look, <laughs> look, look at that. Look. Look. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not in Rocksteady Boxing, <laughs> but I can tell you it is phenomenal. Yeah. I did go and I, I watched what they do and it is incredible and Gloria is just, mm -hmm. she's just over the top as an, as an instructor. It doesn't yeah, inspire you to get in the class? Uh, well, no. <laughs> I, 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 I trade that for singing. Oh, there you yeah, go. So, okay. And then of course the wonderful so, song Shine. So, which yeah, you know so, about. and I'm still teaching so, okay. and running trainings and so on. And so for me, the real therapy comes from the singing and we find that with our our students as well oh, who are in so Songshine. Yeah. Let's see if we missed any groups. No, but I wanted to add. I wanted to add what is so wonderful about it that we've all kind of been going through this journey together ever since each of these, uh, you know, groups started. Mm -hmm. So I've got folks in my group. You've got folks in your group. Gloria's got folks in her group. Lisa in the exercise, and of course uh, in uh, Speak Out. We all know each other, yes. and we're kind of all we've become it's family. It's a community. It's yes, so it very special. Yeah. And it's, you know, with, um, what are they saying now? A million people in the States with yeah. Parkinson's being impacted by and, it. And it's, it's families as well, family, right. spouses, friends. So it's just wonderful to have this. Exactly. And, and actually, PD is growing really rapidly. Mm -hmm. The number of cases being reported, and they think it's really underreported, oh. is considerably more than what is shown as a national yeah. average. And the age is getting younger, younger. Yeah. much mm -hmm. younger. We have and seen so that. Yeah to have an event that really focuses in on this kind of thing is is just amazing so exactly. exactly when when is the expo uh, is it free to attend free okay it's wonderful it's the 28th okay. of april mm -hmm. it starts promptly at 10 a.m. and it runs until 
1230. And as we said, our keynote speaker will be Dr. John Legg mm -hmm. from Eisenhower Wonderful. Medical Center. He's and movement it's, disorder. It's taking place at the Palm Desert Community Presbyterian Church in Miller Hall. Yeah. Well, good luck to you on the expo. Thank you, Jennifer. And good luck to you on, on growing. It sounds like you have lots of ideas. So yes. excited to see what We're a fun out group. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so far. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for you having us. Welcome. Thank you, Thank Jennifer. You. Wonderful Thank getting you. the okay. word out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.